I remember um, when I was around six or seven years old, we lived a few doors away from Miss Etta James. Well, actually, it was the home, I believe, Richard Berry might have lived there, but they would be together all the time, practicing and writing songs, and we could hear them, you know, doing music. And she used to let me and my little friend sit on the porch. She would say, long as you be quiet. She wasn't no more than about 14 or 15 years old at that time, young Etta James. But she became my mentor. Um, she allowed me to sit there and I, I would uh, hear them. They did a um, couple of songs that I remember. One of them was called Roll With Me Henry. And then they had another one called Annie Had a Baby. And uh, of course, Richard Berry himself he did a couple of hit records. One of them was called Louie Louie. Um, I don't think he got the credit he deserved for it because there was another English group or someone that took over and they made more of a hit out of it than he did. And then he had a, the flip side was called Pretty Girls, which we used to love that song. Everywhere I go, there's a pretty girl there. Oh yeah, that was it. That was the song right there back in the day. But um, anyway, I had the blessing to be around this legendary icon when I was a kid. She had, I had no idea the influence that she had on me. And when I was about, mm, I think 14, 15 years old, she gifted me with that album with all those hits on it. That at last album, I mean, they had they dumped all of the every last thing on there, and every one of them was a great song. Every tune was great, and I used to put that album on on the weekends. Put my head scarf. I had a beautiful red head scarf, or and I put drape it over the lamp and make my room cozy. And I had my own stereo in my room. And I would put that album on and just play it repeatedly. I never took it off. I just played it. When it finished playing one side, I'd flip it over and listen to the other side and flip it back. But that's all I did was listen to Etta James. And um, I didn't know that I was learning at the same time. Because they tell me today you remind me of Eddie James. You're phrasing. And um, I guess that's why. Because I was listening to her. I loved her. And I always do her material today um, out of love, respect, and honor that uh, she deserves. She was great.